Thank you, Mr. Chairman and uh, Ranking Member Bill Arrakis, for the opportunity to speak on my bill, HR 5056, the modern GI Bill. I'm glad to see this committee holding a markup on such an important topic. Uh, when I enlisted in the Army after the attacks of September 11th, I had significant student loan debt from law school, which took me over 15 years to pay off. During my time in the military, I served with many others who had previously received an education and took out loans to pay for it. This is the story for an entire generation of post-9-11 vets who may have obtained their education before enlisting or joining as an officer. For generations, the GI Bill has offered a pathway to education for our nation's veterans, but as a new generation of men and women answer the call to service, this bill needs to be modernized to meet their educational and financial needs, which often includes student loans. Service members like myself who joined after they obtained their education cannot take advantage of the GI Bill. So we should give those veterans the same amount of credit towards the student loans that they incurred prior to their military service. The modern GI Bill would allow individuals who are entitled to GI Bill benefits to use such assistance to repay federal student loans. Specifically, an individual who is entitled to educational assistance for tuition or fees may apply the amount they are entitled to repay some or all of their outstanding balance of principal or interest due on federal student loans. To ensure that the costs remain low and this legislation does not provide a significant burden to taxpayers, the modern GI Bill only applies to service, mem service members eligible for the post-9-11 GI Bill and qualifying individuals may not transfer their benefits to family members. Eliminating the transferees will significantly reduce cost. Once the entitlement period is exhausted, veterans and service members may not continue receiving payments towards student loans repayment. Veterans who use the GI Bill for education in fiscal year 19 are estimated to receive almost $15,900 each. Payment of educational assistance towards student loans repayment may not exceed this amount. This entitlement is measured in time, months, and days for qualifying individuals. The entitlement period is 36 months, or its equivalent in part-time educational assistance, paid directly towards repayment of federal student loans instead of the educational institutions. The entitlement period may not be extended or modified. Passing this bipartisan legislation will help ease the financial burden facing many of our nation's veterans. It will also create an incentive for those considering service who have previously incurred student loan debt. As our nation's forces modernize, we must modernize the GI and the GI Bill to ensure that we are keeping up our end of the bargain and giving our veterans the tools they need to succeed. I look forward to working with my colleagues on this committee to advance this legislation, and I thank the chairman for the time. Thank you, Mr.